You're too kind. Welcome uh, in here, out there, up there, down there. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Folks, I want you to... <laughs> check your calendars, because today is officially opposite day. Which means it's not opposite day. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> Another thing about today, it's Volodymyr Zelensky's birthday, and Joe Biden, yeah. And Joe Biden got him exactly what he asked for, 30 M1 Abrams tanks. Yeah. This wasn't exactly a huge surprise. Zelensky kind of figured it out while it was still wrapped. <laughs> the Abrams is a game changer uh, for this war in Ukraine. It's a state-of-the-art battle tank that weighs 70 tons. It is capable of speeds up to 42 miles an hour, plus it comes with a free month of Sirius XM. <laughs> so while you're breaching enemy lines, you can listen to Stern. Now, compare that to the top-of-the-line Russian tank, which is potato. <laughs> now, by the way... By the way, our Is Potato shirts are still for sale. If you haven't got one, all proceeds go to World Central Kitchen who are feeding the people of Ukraine. It makes a great birthday gift if no one has gotten you a tank. So far, <laughs> we have raised over $300,000. Scan right there. Scan that. Scan that right there. Get yourself a... Get yourself a... There you go. There you go. There you go. Pentagon officials have been reluctant to send the Abrams, uh, but then they changed their minds after Germany agreed to send its Leopard battle tanks to Ukraine. Making this the first time anyone in Europe has said, good news, the German tanks are rolling in. <laughs> the military support... <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 The military support from the U.S. and Germany could not come soon enough because yesterday, citing the war in Ukraine, a group of scientists updated the position of the doomsday clock which is used to symbolize the likelihood of people doing something to end humanity. It's kind of a downer, but still less depressing than any watch that counts your steps. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make the rings any smaller. <laughs> the folks running the doomsday clock are leaders in science, politics, and technology. Let's watch them awkwardly unveil the big, scary clock. Keep in mind, in this metaphor, midnight is the end of the world. It is now. 90 seconds to midnight. That pause was 90 seconds. <laughs> Shouldn't we all be dead by now? <laughs> Guys, you just said the world is ending. Do something, run, scream, have an orgy. Come on, it's bone clock. Blue blazer lady, hop on the rumpled shirt guy. Everybody else just puppy pile on the floor. You already got a tarp down? <laughs> Old man, you just watch, you seem brittle. <laughs> this year's doomsday clock is not just about nukes. The 90 seconds to midnight warning also refers to global climate change, unabated disinformation online, and the ongoing threat of infectious disease. Okay, that's a lot for one timepiece to carry. <laughs> the only clock that addresses all of those issues is it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a quality family joke. <laughs> Put that up in dad's bar. The GOP is still reeling from yesterday's revelation that it's not just Joe Biden. Mike Pence also found classified documents at his home in Indiana. And I'll give you the latest in my ongoing segment, What's Up, Docs? Mike Pence yeah. Edition. Be gone, you manila temptress. Pence had insisted that his staff did a rigorous search for classified material when they were packing up his D.C. residence, but obviously some stuff slipped through the cracks. And now we've learned how. Because apparently, some boxes came from the White House which did not go through the process the rest of the documents did. Mike Pence, have you learned nothing from those announcements at the airport? Never carry a package for someone else. <laughs> Why, yes. 
Mother and I would love to take your brick of sweet and low wrapped in duct tape. You'd like me to put it where? But that's not where I keep my coffee. Now. Now. Sorry, I'm painting a picture. I'm painting a picture. Seems like everybody's bringing home classified documents like they were ketchup packets. But South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says he doesn't have any. If you come to my house, you'll find Chick-fil-A bags all over the floor, but you're not going to find any classified information. Holy cry for help, Batman. I tell you, if you, 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 you come to my house, first thing, the issue is the smell. You'll be like, you'll be like, it reeks of cat pee, but I don't see any cats. Then you'll trip over an old bottle of wild turkey and slip on a tear-soaked picture of my ex, and that's when you see me passed down on the kitchen floor, full suit, shoe, socks, no pants. But yeah. No classified information. <laughs> well, a lot of Republicans are mad at Pence. The former Veep got a boost from the former Prez, who truthed, Mike Pence is an innocent man. He never did anything knowingly dishonest in his life. <laughs> Adding, which is why I tried to have him killed. <laughs> so... <laughs> true story. That joke's based on a true story. That joke's based on a true story. And this <laughs> happened. Now, with these new Pence revelations, the GOP have a clear new target for their investigations, and it's Xbox. You see, Microsoft is rolling out a series of updates to improve energy efficiency in its consoles, thereby trimming the gaming industry's carbon emissions and saving users money on their electric bills, money that they can spend on cool Xbox games, like... like the big ones, like... <laughs> Call of Zelda and... <laughs> Donkey Party. <laughs> that's not that's that's not how Fox News saw the move. Let's go to my colleague Ainsley Earhart. Xbox has also announced they're going woke too, mm. in you know because of climate change, mm -hmm. that they're adding a new feature to their default settings. So if you own an Xbox, yeah. you can upload this new program, and it will turn off after so long to save the environment, the power. Yeah, they want us to turn off our Xbox. What's next? They're going to tell me to turn off my car engine when I pull into the garage? <laughs> How am I supposed to fall asleep now? <laughs> but of course, this wouldn't be a good old Fox News nothing burger without this somehow being about grooming the kids. But they're trying to recruit your kids into climate politics at an earlier age. Make them climate conscious now. Yeah, I didn't but think of that. You're right. They're the, going after the children. Of course they are. But again, what's the point of video games? It's for kids to be kids. Yes, why are they corrupting our kids' innocent activities like Italian plumbers taking mushrooms and killing turtles or <laughs> driving a stolen ice cream truck through a crack house? <laughs> so clearly, the GOP needs some fresh ideas. Luckily, the RNC is getting ready to pick a new chair to lead the GOP into a brighter, safer world full of guns and horny M&Ms. <laughs> On Friday, they'll be choosing between current chair Rana Romney, who said my name was Romney, McDaniel, <laughs> Pro MAGA attorney Harmeet Dillon, as well as, and this is real, my pillow CEO Mike Lindell, <laughs> seen here confirming, yes, I did come to this event without pants. <laughs> Lindell announced his campaign a few months back and said he's doing this for a higher power. I prayed about it, and this is God's will, and I'm, this is what I'm doing. I believe this is God's will because God loves a good laugh. I mean, <laughs> why else would he have made those monkeys with the bright red butts? It's hilarious. Let's give some of the monkeys bright red butts, God said. <laughs> Why else? Beautiful. In order to become an official candidate, Lindell had to get at least a few members of the RNC to sign off on his bid. When reporters asked him which members, he said, I wouldn't tell you that in a million years. What, you, so you could go attack them? I'm not stupid. You guys must really think I'm dumb. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Brett Gold.